Hello everyone. Welcome to www.openmentor.net. Our simple motto here is the whole world can learn for free. Again I repeat it is not for fee, it is for free. We like to spread education to everyone over the internet and propagate different knowledge levels across the world through the internet medium. We provide free lessons, recorded lessons, course materials as well as course demos. So you get demos, you get material for a course, you get recorded lectures. All these come free to you. In our website we provide online tests as well. These online tests will help you to do self-assessment. At the same time this, this site will remain free, forever free for the whole world. This is a very specific activity that we have started last year in uh, 2009. We have got overwhelming response from all over the world. This is predominantly on computer education so far. Now we have been expanding this across different lines of education including domain based industry education like banking knowledge, insurance knowledge, logistics, HR, customer relationship management, supply chain, insurance, securities and stock market, online gaming, online shopping and uh, we plan to expand this towards K-12 education that means from first standard to 12th grade that is going to be in most important point here is we plan to provide in different languages predominantly right now it is in English we would like to start with many of the Indian languages like Hindi, Tamil and then eventually expanding to global natural languages this site is pledging learn for free so welcome to openmentor.net in this particular lecture we are taking the topic software testing as most of the people know every object we create requires some amount of testing we need the testing to ensure quality to tell ensuring quality it is very easy but to actually ensuring is tough. There are many ways in ensuring quality of a software. That is what we are going to take in this series of lectures. There are many basic questions on testing. In this scientific world the very fundamental question why? Why should we test? Uh, let us take a simple example. Uh, I have written a lot of exams in schools, in college. Probably you might have also written a lot of exams and papers. We expect some marks. After writing exams, we expect say 90%, but we actually get only 80%. So, Invariably people make mistakes. To err is human. Uh, it's simple. The mistake is not done purposefully but the mistake happens. Same way when software programmers right, program the code they also make mistakes. These mistakes may happen because of lack of skills or lack of understanding or whatever is the issue maybe attitude issue and maybe communication issue right we don't know but issues do happen 
that's why we need someone other than the developer to test in the industry you might have seen in the recent past uh, many automobile car companies calling back some of the units because let us say automobile cars recall in some situation a few companies say acceleration is not expected but acceleration happens without doing anything it was a defect in the car right the car is shipped with a defect this can cause issues to the people who are traveling in that car so that mistake is a costly mistake that the companies are doing because the car is with the customer now instead if the manufacturing company right if the manufacturing company detects it before customer finds it then you are able to fix it so quickly plus the brand is not tarnished the brand is not affected that means you find it before the customer finds it same way you might have heard uh, many mobile phone companies they recall units because battery issues right they recalled many units because of battery issues overheating or even exploding but they have to give ads in paper and then uh, customer service expense right i have to replace the battery that requires a lot of money plus brand is affected same way you might have seen one of the leading gaming console right this leading gaming console they sold a lot when they launched but the same evening they recalled and that company has announced fixing the errors on the gaming console is roughly about dollar 1 billion us dollars can you imagine the loss of fixing right the cost that the company incurred to fix that problem because they launched the product customers bought the product at that point of time they recalled and replaced it has affected their stock price and then the customer service and uh, recalling that fixing that problem cost dollar 1 billion in us to them same way many companies if you have seen post launch are also known as post production when they recall if so many customers are finding the issues they incur huge loss even a few years back a toy company right they sold a lot of toys and then recalled back because the paint on the toy was not tested properly it contained some hazardous material beyond certain limit so they have to recall billion dollar worth of toys and it happened that the company actually had to close the doors what is the moral of the story you find it if you create the product you find the problems in the product before the customer finds it same way in software also i am sure many companies in the newspaper would have given the news on faulty billing right it is all computerized billing but the problem is because of some issues in the software the bills are generated with wrong data the bills are dispatched to the customers customers started calling the company saying no i don't agree to this bill this is wrong 
and the company has to give a credit to these people that's losing customer service time and losing some of the brand value at the same time it is giving a lot of irritation to the customers that is why we need testing and another important thing in software in software especially you cannot find the fault by seeing it alone right visual test may not help a lot so we need to do a lot of functional test to that software that's why it will take a lot of time and uh, we always call it bugs or buried in binaries this is true in software when they compile it comes out as a binary zeros and ones as a program and the bugs are inside that particular binary so this is why you need software testing 